ready. Drum major, Andrew LeBlanc, is your band ready? Good evening, South Portland High School. This is Mike Curtin coming to you all the way from Long Meadow, Massachusetts. I am extremely excited to be with you. Your first show of the season here on September 16th, 2017. It's my pleasure and honor to adjudicate you in the area of percussion performance today. I'm in the top of the stands right on the 50, so I should have a pretty good ensemble read for you guys. All right, here we go. Yeah, good work on the toms there. Just be careful of some of that cymbal work. We're not just smashing the cymbal, right? We're, we're playing the cymbal like an instrument, trying to get the most sound out of the instrument possible. careful there, remember, right? With one hand being so aggressive over the other hand. I can't tell, you know, just communication-wise, mallets, I can't tell if that's supposed to be one and two and three and four and or if that's supposed to be an even phrase. So just make that a little bit more apparent. Yeah, nice work in the concert. Snare. Some vertical alignment of time there with the trumpets, not not quite all together. Yeah, I appreciate that one-handed work. A little uncomfortable from a timing perspective here. Yeah, out of caption, but way to play, trumpet guy. That's great. Support it well by the front ensemble here. Maybe, maybe just a hair heavy-handed on the hi-hat part. Yeah, appreciate the shaping on the one-handed stuff here. Yeah, nice job, front ensemble. Good for you. Now, you guys have to think and concentrate on that entrance. You can't just blow that out. Okay, appreciate the efforts at the innuendo there. Yeah, some cloudy notes there from uh, the upper woods voice. Yeah, good level of confidence here, though, Zylo. Yeah, good communication front to back. Yeah, dump, bump, bug. Uh, again, vertical line at a time there. Got to identify who we're listening to. Sweet. Okay. I think we can do more dynamically there. Uh, percussion ensemble. We sort of, sort of, Fifty Shades of Mezzo Forte. the sensitivity of touch here, mallets. Yeah, nice shot, bass drum. Just don't get to the top of the phrase before the rest of the ensemble does bass. Punctuated a wall by the uh, hand symbols. Oh, I'll be careful coming out of that phrase. We've all got to feel the, the downbeat of that. Yeah, just the rising rate of crescendo between the, uh, the suspended symbol and the hand symbol, not all quite feeling the, the top of the phrase uh, dynamically the same. Okay, things sort of a little uncomfortable from a uh, vertical line at a time perspective, but we, we're fixing it here. We're, we're in the pocket, so good recovery. You, and it was never really out, just a little uncomfortable. Yeah, 
some of these vibraphone parts could come out more. I see the performer playing, but I'm not, none of that's really projecting up here to the stands. I don't know if that, some of it's a mallet issue, but I think it's more of a uh, velocity in the stroke issue there. sort of listen through this this bass drum impact ensemble uh the 2d ensemble notes behind it just it's hard to read right now whether that's supposed to be a hocket or if it's supposed to be a, a 2d ensemble impact so just kind of look at that and, and see what you're trying to sell there and make sure that communicates Auxiliary player back to doing a great job. Holding it down, man. Good for you. Good listening. Nice active ears here, percussion ensemble. Yeah, that's a really strong moment for you guys. Just be careful with some of these these single note lines here uh, in the marimba voice. Even when we're playing at piano, mezzo piano, we still need to play with good velocity, good sound production, producing the best quality of sound we can at the given dynamic level. Yes. Okay, fix it in the uh, the, the vibe xylo run, but the marimba run there, not all lining up with um, the band proper. So just check that out. Identify the listening responsibility. Who are we listening to? Where are they on the field? That sort of thing. A little heavy-handed with the tom work here. Good crescendo at the end of the um, auxiliary player. Again, a little more project projection uh, presence from the tempi in some of these lines could help kind of round out the ensemble sound. Yeah, it, it just, you know, sort of here, uh, kind of shifting the focus over to the tempi there. A little bit more pro projection. Uh, a little more presence in the sonic mix there from the timpani would sort of help to round out the ensemble sound and help add a little bit more oomph to some of those uh, those impact sections. Um, yeah, it's a very solid first show, guys. Uh, auxiliary player, you do a great job uh, overall throughout the show. Really appreciate your performance in particular. Um, Marimba, man, we just have to we have to know who who we're listening to, what are they playing, where are they on the field, that kind of thing. Uh, and just play your part with a little bit more confidence, and I think that's going to fix some of the errors that, that came out today. We appreciate the performance, guys, and uh, look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Congratulations on a great first run.